Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, it's Rod here and today I've turned my attentions to an indoor plant because it's so bitterly cold outside and at the weekend we took a little trip out and went to a garden centre as us gardeners do, love to do and I found this, I've seen these around for a long long time Pachia aquatica or money tree plant it's a lovely looking plant, it's got lovely thick sort of trunks on it there but normally when you see these they've been plaited or braided for a reason apparently they give luck they bring luck or they give luck if you give these to somebody as a present you're giving them good luck and good fortune and if you plait them it keeps that good fortune locked in well this one hasn't been uh, braided so I don't know whether it's braided or not anyway that's besides the point this lovely little plant in this tiny little pot deserves a bigger house I think a bigger home to live in so without further ado I'm going to do that I'm going to treat it so uh, stick with me and um, I'll show you how I go on because I've reached a, researched this a bit on the internet and there's a lot about these plants so here we go in here I've got some general purpose compost. It's, it's good for house plants or outdoor plants or any sort of plants really. It's pretty much easy going. So I've got plenty of that there. And what I've done, I've chosen this, this pot here, which is quite a lot bigger. It, it's at least one size, maybe two sizes bigger than this pot it's seen at the moment. So we're going to use this pot for the money tree plant. Now, if I take it out of there very carefully, I've watered it, the soil's very crumbly, and I think this one is like what you'd call a nursery pot. It's what it's been grown in uh, to begin with at the nursery where they grow them. So we'll put that to one side. I'll keep that, that'll be usable for something else, I guess. And, uh, well, there it is. It hasn't really got a lot of root. It's not root bound. But it's comfortable, I should think. It probably would have been okay in that pot for a while. But I'm going to give it a bigger home. So I get a little bit of soil. Not too much, but we need a bit in the bottom there. And buffer it up and see what we've got. Pretty much perfect straight away. I'll put a little bit more in. Level it off. Yeah, I think that'd be great like that. Then I'm going to put the soil around it. Trying to keep it as even as possible. Firm it down a little bit as we go. but we want it to look nicer too so I just put that to one side for the moment there we go move this out of the way also I bought a new uh, pot to put it in which is quite a nice pot but problem is it had a hole in the bottom so what I thought I would do would be glue in a piece of plastic in the bottom there to fill up that hole because I don't want water to run through this on 
onto uh, furniture, you know, like a table or anything like that. So that sealed that up, and then the plant could go in there. Like that. And it's gonna look really good. Perfect, that fits in there as a treat. And that can grow away nicely for quite some time, I should think. Now, when I water that, obviously the water's not going to come out of the bottom. It'll water the plant, then I'll leave it to dry out, water it again, and that should do nicely. I'm going to put that by a window so that it gets um, pretty good light coming through on it. And uh, the idea is to just turn it every now and again, once a week perhaps, so that it doesn't go spindly and only in one direction. So there we go. My uh, new addition to my houseplant collection. Hope it's helped you out. It's helped me out. Um, oh, I do love my plants. Same as all of us. Us gardeners. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And um, see you again in the next video. So it's bye from me. Bye from my houseplants here. And uh, yeah, just plain old. Goodbye.